So you're here and you've planned an awesome day full of magic and adventure in the Disney parks in July. And then this happened. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney Hollywood Studios. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Epcot International Gateway, Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Hollywood today. Now wave goodbye. Now wave goodbye. Wave goodbye to your beautiful sunny day. If you've ever been in the Magic Kingdom or Hollywood Studios or Epcot or Animal Kingdom for that sake, and it has poured all day long, well, this video is for you. I've got some information on things that close that is going to help your day be better. You can decide whether you want to leave the parks or not, or stick around. And I'll show you a list of the things that do close so that you can go to all the things that don't close while everybody else leaves the park. First, let's talk transportation. Nobody told us that the Skyliner closes in a storm. Hurricane? Yes. Lightning? No. But it does. They will close loading and get everyone off at the next stop, whatever it is, and bust you from there. We were not prepared for this. So be prepared to unload your strollers and fold them down if that be the case. When you see this sign, you either need to wait it out or get on a bus. And they will not reopen the Skyliner even if the sky looks like this. They have a period of time that they wait it out before they start loading again. However, all other transportation still runs, even the ferry, with swells like these. Next, let's talk gear. Obviously, you need raincoats and stroller covers to make it in the park in the day in the rain. But I would also recommend an extra change of clothes, socks and underwear especially, and some sort of strappy sandal like a Teva or some sort. My kids call these their hurricane shoes. Wet sneakers just don't work this time of year. You're obviously going to want to duck out of the rain when you see lightning. Standing water is very dangerous and there are strikes of lightning that do come down. But if you can make your way around the park safely and get to other rides, it's a great time to go on all those rides as everybody is hiding under cover or leaving the parks. Also, don't forget to take some rainy day photos. These are some of my kids' favorite photos because they remember how much we laughed and ran through the rain together. So here is that list of all the rides that are closed. Also, you can snag my rainy day closure card down below in the pinned comments. And hopefully this was helpful and you will be the ones prepared in the parks next time. Remember, Walt believed in the magic of family, and so do we. We'll see you next time. And hey, if you're ever at Disney Springs stuck in the rain, you may be lucky enough to have a cast member hand you a trash bag.